in this market, like you're saying, like there's a lot of on, on market opportunities as well. Should I be almost focusing on that more right now? So here's the thing, right? Wholesaler outreach is a funnel and it takes time because you're going to see that 80 to 90% of the deals wholesalers send you are shit. Mm -hmm. But it's going to take you time to reach out to that wholesaler and say, hey, bro, tell me how you came to this ARV. And then you're going to see that they used a comp that was nine miles away. Okay. Hey, you say, you know, you can't do that. <laughs> this is how it would work. And this is why ARV on this is probably very close to what you're asking for on this house, which isn't a problem. You know, if you find a buyer for this, wow, I'm super, I'd be so impressed. But what I want to offer you is friendship. And I want to be able to say to you, the next time that you're locking up a house, reach out to me. I'm happy to comp for you. I'm happy to help you. I'm happy to have, let you guide you on where you should be locking things up at, you know, and reach out. And then I can even bring other buyers to the table and we can connect. And so what you're going to do is that's the top of the funnel on wholesaler outreach. And then what ends up happening is you start building relationships, building relationships, and then they start bringing their deals to you. And then you start telling them where to lock it up at. And that's what spits out checks. Yeah. Right. So it's a funnel. It'll work just as well as on market. The only thing is on market doesn't require as much lead time. Like with wholesalers, you see, you have to plant the seed, water it, and then it grows. With yeah. on market, if you're using Privy or something to help you scrape the deals, show you what's on the market right now that could be a possible discount. This video is brought to you by PCS. Do yourself a favor and make sure you have proper corporate structure. Click the link in the description to make sure that you're not just a person, you're a business. Now stop watching me and go watch me. Then you just have to pay attention to the psychology that I've been talking about. Making sure that you're locking these up significantly below list price to show your buyer value. Mm -hmm. So the way to do that is to call the agent and to have the conversation with them to say, hey, look, I see you've got this house on the market. It's not moving. I feel you're overpriced. This is why. Do you think your seller might, you know, how did you get to this number first? Because maybe I'm wrong. Did I miss something? Like, show me where you got to this number. And like John just said, eight out of 10 of them are going to say, no, no, you're right. The seller's crazy. And then mm -hmm. you say, okay, do you think they're ready to not be crazy? Because there's a point where every seller decides they're going to stop being crazy. I want to be there the moment that your seller says that they're coming to reality. So how do we, should we write an offer now? Do you want me to call you in two weeks? You want me to try you in three weeks? How would you like me to approach this? See, now what you're doing is you're getting into cahoots with the agent. Then you're also going to say, hey, also, I want, I want you to represent me when we make this offer. So it'll incentivize your seller. Maybe if you want to use the, half the commission towards their price, or maybe you just take an extra point, whatever it is, I'm not going to tell you how to use your money. But um, this is what I want to do. So tell me, what's the plan, right? Bro, oh, now all of a sudden you've gained an ally. You've gained somebody there and, and have those conversations every day. And I'm telling you, on the other side of that, it's, it's pay dirt. Gotcha. Thanks for watching another one of my YouTube videos. Now it's your turn to go out and take some action. But before you do, like and subscribe to my channel because the law of reciprocity means you owe me.